Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, this is DMAC, and today I'm looking at the uh, challenge lock that uh, we recently built on this channel in a, we did a three parter um, and yeah, built up a challenge lock from scratch, and this is that lock. Um, as you can see there, we've done some nice engraving to the front of him. I, I like to grind away the this this the front of and polish uh, the front of these uh, challenge locks, and put a daft little face on, um, and do a bit more engraving. So we've got DMAC 100 there and a little scroll, and some more engraving engraving there. YouTube challenge lock, and this is just waiting for a name. Um, when you're watching this video, it will be after my giveaway, um, and this lock will be winging its way to someone, and I would have named it already at the time of filming. Um, it's a few days previous to that. Um, I thought it would be good to just show uh, the lock being picked open uh, prior to me shipping it out and giving it away. So that's what we're going to do today. So we'll grab the vice over. This has got the um, uh, Yale uh, keyway paracentric keyway there I'll zoom you in so I'm going to grab a selection of shallow hooks maybe that one and the thin top of the keyway should do us if he fits yes he fits so let's see how we get on Okay, so I'm going to go relatively light tension and just sort of, yeah, tickle these pins really to see. Oh, well, we've got a slight movement there. We touched four, I think. Just moving it back and forth. Another movement there on five. Very lightly, just tickling those pins to see if any of them were set. I think that feels like two. One, two, three, four, five. I think that was six at the back there, and we've got a full set. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing there. Go in with a different pick and see if it, see if we can get it talking to us. Just picking off this uh, this ward in here on the right. Maybe a different pick profile will give us something else. Nope, not getting much at all there. These um, these yales are quite good to to start with. Um, a great start for a challenge lock for sure. Um, I think uh, that's three. Uh, yeah, whatever we've uh, those pins that we've put into this lock, they certainly haven't taken away from that. One, two, three, four. A bit more movement now down the back. Um, and we also did put uh, some tapered pins in this, if you remember. So they might need a couple of nudges. Oh, there we go. That was five and six. We've got a very deep full set there. Um, yeah, those tapered pins might require a few nudges, but I think we should be on the spools now. Just trying to feel for what's holding us up. It's one there, as you can see. When I'm hitting one, we're getting that movement. Uh, if you remember, we put the um, uh, an undercut on one, and then we had a sort of deep spooled section on the um, on the on the driver pin there. Um, so that may be what's holding us up. We'll try and pop him through. There we go. But we didn't get a set. 
so we didn't get an open. I didn't hear anything drop, and we definitely got a pop out of one. So there must be something else holding us up. Unless we're still caught. I did expect to um, pop one up and perhaps get an open or drop back into that full set, but neither of those things happened. That was two. Very light tension there. Oh, almost lost the wrench. Oh, that's close. Okay, it's not talking to me anymore. Maybe something's overset. Let's try a bit of manual counter rotation there. Lost the tension wrench for a second, but we didn't uh, lose any progress, I don't think. Okay, that was six. I do find it helps, uh, particularly with a tight keyway like this, to sometimes change between picks. Very slight difference in um, the the pick tip profile can mean the difference between getting a pin to the correct point and uh, failing to, um, and therefore not getting the lock open. Ah, and there we go. I just touched something at the back there, and he fell open. So there we go. He definitely put up a fight. Um, very enjoyable that one and I think we'll just grab this pinning tray down and just pop him open quickly so you can uh, see what's inside him I'll lock him back up because um, we do have a key obviously for this one being a challenge lock a bit of an uncooperative uh, clip on there I think sometimes with challenge locks, I have had it happen that you, you put all the work in that we did in, in those videos, uh, create something that you think is going to be nasty and um, put them all together and is sometimes easier to pick than, than it was when you started, which is a real shame, but it does happen sometimes. But I think with this one, it's definitely a, a tricky pick there um, and took a, a steady hand to to get him open. So I'm just going to quickly dump all of these out and I'll show you uh, the close up that I'm sure you would have seen previously when we made the lock. Five and six. Just arrange those quickly. We left it. Well, I hope whoever gets this lock um, gets some good fun out of it. It's certainly uh, an enjoyable pick, I think. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, making making the video. Actually, let's just arrange these pins. I think that's it. So there you go. There's the pins as we left them in the uh, uh, the, the 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 three part uh, challenge pin um, making video, and then a couple of modifications to the core there, with the threaded chambers in six three, and we've got an undercut there in chamber one. 
So there you go, that was the uh, unnamed lock at, the, at this time. Um, I'm sure by the time you're watching this video, I would have put um, the name of the lock in the description. And um, Oh, drop the spring, springs there. Um, yeah, and uh, it will be winging its way to whoever won the giveaway. Um, yeah, thanks for watching on this one. Um, nice little pick that. I enjoyed making it. And uh, yeah, bye for now.